Thank you so much for logging on to SNN Local News 6 Weather First Facebook forecast. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone breaking down the weather for today. And our highs will top out in the lower to mid 90s. Mid 90s further inland you get. But the story today, other than a few isolated and scattered storms this afternoon, will be the wind. And we're talking about northeasterly winds uh, up to 15 or 20 miles per hour, maybe gusting at 30 miles per hour at times. And this is all due to Hurricane Irene and an area of high pressure off to the north and west that will create a pressure gradient on top of the Sun Coast. As you can see, not a lot of activity on the radar right now over the Sun Coast, but here off the southeast coast of Florida, there is some very heavy rain taking place, and that's the outer bands of Hurricane Irene. Now, this is a major hurricane. It's a Category 3 hurricane with sustained winds of 115 miles per hour and it is going to eventually make that turn to the north and northeast so away from the state of Florida. However on the east coast of Florida they're expecting some strong winds, some heavy downpours at times and some high surf but really what's going to be affected here is the Outer Banks in uh, the Carolinas. And then we're talking about this traveling up the eastern seaboard and affecting a whole lot of people up there. So as far as today other than the winds area of high pressure to our northwest Hurricane Irene to the east. Remember, a pressure gradient will set up around those two wind fields here, and that's why our winds are going to be out of the northeast and fairly strong today. But as this continues to move up the eastern seaboard, we're talking about a cold front coming down from the northwest and affecting a lot of people today with severe weather. And then as Irene comes up from the uh, south, uh, that's going to just aid to more problems because we're talking about the ground already being saturated here in these areas and then Irene producing some very heavy rain along with the very strong winds and you've got a whole lot of problems here. We're talking about trees coming down because the soil is already saturated. Those roots that hold the trees in are going to be weak. Trees will come down with the strong winds and that's going to crash over some power lines and take out the power, so there's going to be millions of people that are affected by this storm. Here's the cold front that's going to affect the northeast today. You can see the band of clouds here. That's a cold front that's going to charge right into the east coast and cause those severe storms today. All right, for the boaters today, well, not the best boating forecast. A few storms in the afternoon, but uh, as far as the winds go, northeasterly winds up to 20 knots, seas anywhere from 2 to 4 feet, and choppy conditions in the bays. All right, breaking down your forecast, well, the winds are going to be quite strong for at least uh, the next couple of days, and then uh, things uh, start to die down as far as the winds go, but uh, as far as the moisture in the atmosphere, we're talking about that increasing for the Sun Coast, and that's why our chance for storms will increase to 30 to 40 to potentially 50 percent by mid next week. Thanks so much for logging on to SNN Local News 6 Weather First Facebook forecast. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone.